Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to learn how to configure Jenkins to dynamically spin up Kubernetes ports as built agents. This setup will help you scale your CI-CD pipeline efficiently and save resources. Let's dive in. Before we start, make sure you have a running Kubernetes cluster, Jenkins installed and running, Kubernetes command line tool, kubectl configured, and admin access to both Jenkins and Kubernetes cluster. We will cover this process in four main steps. First step is to install Kubernetes plugin. Second, getting cluster credentials that is kubeconfig. Third, we will integrate the Kubernetes cluster with Jenkins master and define pod and container template. In the last, we will test our configuration with a sample job. All right, without any delay, let's deep dive into the step. In order to integrate Kubernetes cluster with Jenkins master, we must install Kubernetes plugins on our Jenkins. So log into a Jenkins GUI, navigate to manage Jenkins, and then click on plugins, select available plugins, search here Kubernetes. So install this plugin. Select the plugin and click on install. Choose this option, restart Jenkins with installation is complete and no jobs are running. It will take a minute or two. Once the plugin is installed, log in to your Jenkins GUI. Again, navigate to manage Jenkins. This time select security. Under the security, we will have agent section. Here, select the first option fixed that is TCP port for inbound agents and specify the port by default it is 50,000 so you can give the default port as 50,000 click on apply and then save this 50,000 port is commonly used by Jenkins for GNLP traffic Java network launch protocol Jenkins uses GNLP to establish communication between Jenkins master node that is controller and its agents that is slaves that are running on remote machines. Now SSH your Jenkins master and allow this port in your firewall in case firewall is up and running. I have already taken the SSH session of my Jenkins master. Now run the command sudo ufw allow 50,000 slash TCP. Hit enter. Now reload the changes. For that, run the command UFW reload. Output confirms that we have allowed 50,000 port on our Jenkins master. Next, get the cube config of your Kubernetes cluster. I am already connected to my control plane. So this cube config will be used while creating a credentials for our Kubernetes cluster. In my case, cube config is placed under the folder dot cube with the name config. So copy this config file on your system. Let's download it. Now head back to the Jenkins GUI and create the credentials for your Kubernetes cluster. Okay, navigate to manage Jenkins and then click credentials, Use system, global credentials, click on add credentials. Select the kind as secret file, scope would be global. Now select the config file that you have just downloaded. Give the name as kubeconfig, then click on create. Now add your Kubernetes cluster into the Jenkins as a cloud. So again, go back to manage Jenkins and then under system configuration, click on clouds and click on new cloud. Now specify the name of your cloud name. Let's say K8S. Cluster. 
select the type as Kubernetes and then click create. Now we need to get the Kubernetes URL. Now go back to your control plane. If you get this file, so this is the Kubernetes URL. In my case, just copy, paste it here. Now scroll down under the credentials section, select the credential that we have just created. Just select config and click on test connections. The output confirms that we are able to connect our Kubernetes cluster. Now click on save. Now select this cluster. Now we'll define the port template for this cluster. Click on add a port template. Under the name section, specify the name for your port template. Let's say it's key, it is hyphen agent, and namespace where the port will be created. So it would be under default label. Let's say key it as hyphen agent. Under the uses, select these options. Scroll down a little bit and here you will get add a container template option. So click on the container template. Container name would be something like GNLP. Container image will be pulled from the repo Jenkins slash inbound hyphen agent and the working directory on the agent would be slash home slash Jenkins. Keep this blank and argument also as blank and leave the other parameters as it is and then click on create. If you click on again this cloud, here we will have one port template with the name Kate as agent which will be using a default namespace and label is Kate as agent. Under this port template, we have one container template. Container name is GNLP. This is my Docker image that will be used while spinning up the pod. And this would be the home directory that will be used by our Jenkins agent or we call or, or, or the Jenkins slaves. All right. Now, in order to test this configurations, let's create a sample pipeline and we will force that pipeline to run on the this Kubernetes pod whose label is KTS agent. Click on plus new item. Let's say demo pipeline hyphen K8 hyphen agent. Select the pipeline and then click OK. Choose pipeline and use this sample pipeline code. So if you see in this pipeline, we are specifically mentioning that please run this stage on the agent whose label is K8 hyphen agent. And we have one stage with the name test. Here we are executing two commands. First one is echo from the Kubernetes port and then running a host name from the port itself. Click on save. Now try to run this pipeline. Click on build now. We can see in the console output, a port has been created using the port template key it as agent. Port name is this, this one. And it has executed the code under the working directory slash home slash Jenkins. And it has executed a echo command hello from Kubernetes port and executed the host name. This confirms that we have successfully able to execute our pipeline 
using our port template which is provisioned on our Kubernetes cloud. That's it. You have successfully configured Jenkins to use Kubernetes ports as build agents. If you have found this useful, hit the like button, subscribe for more DevOps tutorials, drop a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.